Hey there, are you having some issues setting up your TrueNAS KL VM with multiple GPUs? Well, I'm here to give you a solution for that based on my experience. Keep in mind that this won't be an in-depth tutorial. It's just me sharing how I managed to get it working. In my case, I am turning my mining rig into a NAS, but I still want it to mine because I don't want to be spending more money on another machine and also more electrical cost. So the first issue that I face with TrueNAS is that it requires a GPU to run. So if I have three GPUs, three PCIe GPUs plugged in, I cannot use them all for my VM. It requires one to be used by TrueNAS, but you can use your iGPU for that. So you can free up all your PCIe GPUs. And if you don't have an iGPU, you can get yourself an inexpensive GPU like the GT710, GT210, just to run TrueNAS. But that still kind of sucks because you are losing a PCIe slot. But that's the way it is. Okay, so the next problem is that I am getting code 43 on my GPUs and it's not getting detected in the TrueNAS VM. And that's what I'm gonna be solving today, mainly. Okay, let's head on over to my TrueNAS. And what you want to do is go on to system settings and then you go to advanced. Now down here, you can see isolated GPU devices. Go ahead, go ahead and click close on this. Now, I have four PCIe GPUs and an iGPU. The first one is the RTX 3060 LHR V1, a GTX 1080, and there are two more, RTX 3060 and RTX 3060 Ti LHR V2, which are not detected as the GPU. It only says NVIDIA Corporation device and numbers. Doesn't say what type of the GPU is. Now, what you want to do is you select the ones that has the name. Select one that has the name, like the RTX 3060. Select that one only. And then you go ahead and save it. And now you head on over to your virtualization tab, create yourself a VM. I'm just gonna skip this through. Now with the GPU part of it, you are gonna select the GPU that you selected before in the isolated GPU in the system settings, which in my case is the RTX 3060, and uncheck the ensure display device. Once that is all set up, you start your virtual machine, go ahead and install Windows. In my case, I'm using Windows, so go ahead and install Windows. And once you're done with the Windows installation, you install the NVIDIA drivers. Now, what you want to do is shut down that virtual machine, and now you go ahead and edit that virtual machine and add the other GPUs, including the ones that doesn't have the real name of the GPU, like this NVIDIA Corporation device. Now you save that and then you go back here and start the machine. Now the VM might not recognize the GPUs instantly. Now what you want to do is just open your BIOS manager and click scan for hardware changes until the GPUs actually appear. It might take a couple of minutes to get it to appear. And if your GPUs are still not appearing, you can try to reinstall the drivers again. In my case, I don't have to go through the whole installation process. The install kind of gives it a stimulus for the GPUs to get detected. And I just stopped the installation. It wasn't even starting yet. I just opened the installer. And as you can see here, all of my GPUs are being detected and they're mining just fine. Hope this video helps you. If it did, leave a like. And I'll see you whenever I'm making a new video. Goodbye.